the topography is not absolutely flat. Whereas when you first drive here and park in the parking lot, you think, oh God, look at how boring it all is. But when you start walking through it, you notice that there is a difference, subtle as it is, between the higher areas and the lower areas. The higher yeah. portions, the, look, the things that look like it's the mounded. mounded, yeah, those are called MIMA mounds. MIMA, M-I-M-A. And people say, well, what makes the topography that way, where you have the mounds, and then you have these kind of depressions between them and all? And there are something like 60 different theories that people have come up with since the mid-1800s. <laughs> and um, nobody knows for sure what they are. There might be combinations. There might be different reasons that ha they happen. What's occurred is that there's been an evolution of certain plants, both flowering plants like this and certain specialized grasses that are native only to vernal pool areas in the depression part. Vernal pools are predominantly native species. This entire pool is covered with native California grasses. Over there we have a lot of gold fields and over here it's mostly semaphore grass, meadow foam. Meadow foam is called meadow foam because when it's really in bloom, I mean these, these pools will just be filled with white and it literally looks like you've got, you know, foam across the meadows and so it's, it's kind of a cool plant. To me the vegetation in this area says this is an area that's pretty wet for a fairly long period of time. It's got plants that really like it wet. So this is a kind of a depression compared to all the Mima mounds around. Now this is a very very classic vernal pool with Fremont's gold fields. So this vivid yellow is gold fields. There are several different species of gold fields, but two main ones we'll be seeing today. They like it only in the vernal pools. They won't like it further up, even on the edge of the Mima Mounds. It's a little bit too high for them. Very subtle difference, but it's there. Do you guys talk much about composite flowers, like these composites and how like brass buttons, you know, even though this looks like one flower, this is actually hundreds of tiny little flowers. I think that's kind of cool. I just, when I learned that in botany, I thought, wow, plants are pretty darn cool. 